MIDI Polyphonic Expression, or MPE, is now available as a spec to download for everyone on the MIDI.org website. I thought it was important to make this little video um, maybe to highlight why MPE is so focused and so limited in a way. Um, for more than a decade, a lot of manufacturers have been working on new expressive electronic controllers or instruments. You've got the Eigenharp, Lindstrument, the Seaboard, the Hakan Continuum, the Jouet, loads of them. The main problem that these manufacturers always run into is there are great controllers, but there are almost no sound sources that actually react to the expressive capabilities of these controllers. So it's sort of a chicken and egg situation where very few people were adopting these controllers because it was really hard and technologically compl complex to set up a system that felt nice and synthesizer makers were not really uh, interested in putting in the efforts to optimize their synthesizers for the controllers because there were not that many users and because there was also not a consensus between the different controllers about how to actually send out the information that makes them expressive. So MPE really focuses on lowering the barrier as much as possible, leveraging as much as possible of the existing MIDI standard so that the difficulty of adapting existing synthesizer towards MPE support is as little as possible and again is as much as possible so that all the controllers can actually benefit from MPE support. Uh, in a nutshell, what is MPE? MPE is as if each finger would be one MIDI controller with keys, traditional MIDI controller. Each finger is capable of doing pitch bends, add timbral, ch timbral changes to the sound, and press down for pressure, so that's three-dimensional control. On this Eigenharp key, I can press down, move up and down, and left and right for similar expressiveness. Now, instead of having one of these keyboards, you actually have a separate controller for each finger. And this is sort of the minimum of uh, capabilities that an MPE controller or synthesizer has to understand. The nice thing of this, about this is that it's very, very similar to what everyone has already been doing with one difference. Instead of possibly lumping all the MIDI messages together that one receives uh, over the different MIDI channels, the information is kept separate. And the pitch band, mod wheel, pressure information for a particular channel only applies to the notes on that channel. So each channel becomes its own polyphonic controller. That's it. That's the summary of MPE. Now there's a couple of other messages like how do you set up the channels and what if you have an MPE controller that also has a global pitch wheel. But that is just pushing it a little bit further and to be fully MPE compatible these messages have to be understood, but it's not that much. So the advantage is that we've already seen over the last couple of years, just by the fact that MPE is an effort that was going on, dozens of synthesizer makers and dozens of controller makers have already converged on this way of working and things connect seamlessly. You can connect the Agon Harp to the Model 15 app running on the iPad. You can connect the instrument to the Parva, or the instrument to the app, or the Seaboard to the app. It just works. And when we went at NAM a couple of years ago, when we first sat down uh, after the initial you know, attempts at implementing an earlier draft of MPE, we were surprised at how easy it was to connect everything together. So that's it, that's MPE. Just allow people to enjoy you know, the expressiveness of these new controllers and appreciate how as a musician you can really live in the moment and express electronic music by moving your fingers around in three dimensions. Thank you, bye.